So I mean, it, it's, it's great to come down, um, just have a walk around the estate, Central Hill, where a few more people are out and about, just talk to them. And it's, you know, it's obvious that there's uh, a lot of love for this place. Um, but there doesn't seem to be a discussion about what, what the long-term vision is, what people are trying to achieve. And my experience of working in development and construction is that really you want to try and build consensus and have a conversation about what the, what the vision is and what benefits things bring. Um, you know, the housing problem in, in, in London and across the UK is so acute, it's not going to be solved by you know, a 20-year programme here and there. Is it, really worth, is it really worth destroying communities just to hit a target? So, and my view is that we should really be sitting down, boring breath a bit, recognising that there is a climate crisis, recognising that there's you know, some fantastic homes around here. These are homes. Um, and there's you know, lots of mature trees, there's lots of green space. You know, it's, it's, it's kind of what people are designing now in terms of community. There's, I've seen you know, kind of homestead arrangements where people are living around the courtyard. Um, it just seems absolute madness to, to, to even think about uh, demolishing this without having a proper conversation with the people who live here and love it um, about how, how, how we tackle uh, the problems of the future together. Um, it's much better to get on a positive discussion rather than trying to you know, set up opposition because that's just going to take longer anyway. So, yeah, it doesn't feel that things are quite coming together as they should at the moment, and um, I think it's really important that people realise what they say and has a, has a real impact. So people have to listen, um, and so it feels pretty feel pretty demotivating not to be listened and you're banging your head against the brick wall time and time again just to get a point across. But actually if you can engage in a conversation and, and expect others to engage with you, then you can make a real difference. Things can really change. You know, we have to, we have to do things differently. The world is the world is breaking um, and we have to take this really seriously. So how do you feel about Homes for Lambeth? Um Homes for Lambeth in my view, uh, it's the right idea, if I'm honest, but in the sense that it's, uh, it's, it's trying to take initiative because the market, in terms of the private developers, really failed to deliver the kind of infrastructure, the quality of housing, they failed to think really long term about climate. So the idea that the local authorities and the public sector, who are stewards of place, say, well actually we've got to protect the interests of the community, is the right idea. The problem is, if organisations like Homes for Lamb then start to try and behave as if they were private developers, what additional benefit? Who's looking after the interests of the community? Who's looking after the things that should be of public interest, the commons? You know, who's making sure the trees have a voice? If it's not the local authority, then who is it? You know, the developers, by and large, won't necessarily be looking at that. Now, that's not always the case. There are good developers out there who are very clear about the benefits that they bring and why they're doing it. But again, just, just walking around today and I've seen people from Homes for Lambeth and some of the, the, the material, there doesn't seem to be a very clear reason behind what they're doing other than aiming towards hitting housing targets. And that's not enough. That's not enough to justify the demolition of all of this uh, over a 20 year period. So we need someone to stand up for communities and that's what Homes for Lambeth should be doing. So what is your opinion on um some campaigners that believe in refurbishment, what, what, how do you feel about that? What's your thought? Before we do any new building, we should be seriously thinking about its environmental impact. Until we've got all the technologies and the materials um, that, that we have to take care of, so body carbon traditionally hasn't been measured within the construction industry. And so people talk about net zero, low carbon development. They're really talking about it being energy efficient, which basically means it's well insulated and it's kept warm. We have to move on from that because the body carbon, the amount of carbon that's in the materials is immense. And to demolish this and rebuild it seems irresponsible if we haven't got the best solution about how to build it in the future. So for me, refurbishment, especially when there's an existing community that's intact, you know, that you can talk to about how do you reduce your carbon footprint, you can have community events, whether it's cooking or getting on public transport, whatever it might be, that really refurbishment and improvement and investment and working with what's already here should be your number one priority before you even think about anything else. And it's kind of 
why have a redevelopment plan before you've had that conversation? And I, I think there's more to be done about refurbishment, retrofit, whole house solutions. I mean, you know, I see an awful lot of it. And there's new government funding focusing on, on, on refurbishment. There's, a, there's an energy network here uh, which has been decommissioned. Bring that back into use. They're, they're doing that elsewhere in London. So it feels a bit backward looking at the moment not to have a really intelligent conversation about refurbishment. Thank you.